Welcome back. This is Beth, and we're now entering week four of our McGraw-Hill My Math Quick Start. And we're going to focus on assessment this time. So let's move over to Connect Ed. And you see on the screen, I've opened in first grade. And I can get to assessment by using that carousel we've already looked at before. See when I put my cursor there in the carousel, the check mark indicates that this is something that I could use with regard to assessment. But if we look at the five tabs, we've seen those and we've been in all of them, let's go into the assessment tab. And you'll notice over here on the left, there's every chapter of the whole first grade. They're the icons that will open some of these resources. We'll look at those in just a second. But I want to point out the three uh, special features over here in the, that list that indicate some assessments you're going to want to be aware of. First of all, benchmark test. And when I click on that, I will see chapter by chapter benchmarking. And you'll also see an icon with all the answers on those as well. The second choice in that list down there is diagnostic and placement tests. This icon that you see here will open a diagnostic and placement test manual that actually has resources that you could use at multiple grade levels for diagnostic and placement. And then I want you to look at this very last one. Countdown to Common Core performance task. These are important. Inside this little booklet, which is available in print as well, is the opportunity for me to offer my students uh, a performance task. Um, there are about four in each grade level, so they really target perhaps closing out a nine-week grading block. But what this really does for me is with regard to Common Core, uh, we want to think about those performance tasks that students are going to have to do on Common Core assessments. Uh, this will offer you rubrics. Uh, it'll talk to you about um, the placement uh, with regard to where students are and being able to perform these kind of tasks. This is true authentic assessment. We want to be sure that our students are able to not just um, understand the concepts and skills, um, get that fluency practice a part of rigor, but also be able to utilize the mathematics. And that's what this is going to talk about, application of math. Be sure to spend some time in that. Now let's go back over to, a, to chapter one, addition concepts, and I want you to just notice as I scroll down, look at what you have. Look at all of the assessment tools that we've built in for you. You have vocabulary test, you have chapter tests in various forms, form A, form B, form C, and of course the answers are there as well. If I scroll back up, and I want to go slowly so you can see some of those titles, Notice there's a pretest, and am I ready? Now, you know in McGraw-Hill My Math, as you start each chapter, you have an am I ready in the student interactive text. But if you'd like, you can use these additional am I ready's as diagnostics for practice, for review, for vocabulary. So many choices you get to make to make sure that you really know what your students know about math as they enter a chapter. Now, here's a beauty of this you can push these out. Now, you and I have already looked at the Student Center, and we know through the Manage and Assign that we can assign one of these. So your students can take any of these online, it will score online, and it will move into your data collecting system, which I'm going to show you soon. So that will show you the Teacher Center in the Assessment tab, what your features and components are, and what's your task. I'd like for you to go in, find one of these, and try it with your students. Thank you.